this is not maybe that degree of shocking, but it is the way that lighting works in the new Unreal Engine 5. And apparently this is a huge improvement over the previous Unreal Engine or Unreal Engine 4. And you can just go ahead and play it. There is audio. And okay. this individual kind of explains what's going on with the lighting. Same scene, but Lumen is turned on. So there is no baked lighting. And notice how as soon as I start to move this chair around, the light updates in real time. We can even play with how much light is coming through the window dynamically. So let's add in a cube and we can scale this up and slowly start to block off all the light in the room. Whoa. And then notice nice. how, as soon as I move this, we start to seep in more and more light. Nice. And this room is entirely dynamically changing its visibility because of all of that bounce lighting. It's, it's was every direction uh -huh. in that the light can travel yep. and then also reflect off of. Yeah. So the the amount of brightness is like dynamically adjusting, not just at the light source, but exactly. all over the mm -hmm. the room dimension. Right. I noticed he said right here uh, we have the same Unreal Engine 4. Well, in Unreal Engine 4. That's an old did. one, but... Uh, that's still impressive. <laughs> what That's do you still mean? Really cool. What do you mean it's the old one? Uh, I think the most recent one's Unreal Engine Five. I know he said yeah. you couldn't do this in oh, Unreal you Engine do Four. It. Oh, I thought he said this was Unreal Engine Four. Oh, well, I'll play did, it and make sure that I'm I? right here. I don't oh. know if you're hearing something. You okay. got to go from yeah, maybe impossible you're right. in Unreal Engine. This was 4. impossible in Unreal oh, Engine okay. Four. Sorry. Jesus. Which was but him near talking about it in Unreal Engine Four. Right. Same scene. Well, yeah, this is very Im impressive. I think um, the Lumen technology mm. is uh, like probably the best like real time lighting effect in gaming, like so far. The fact that you can kind of see that uh, where the light hits, it kind of diffuses the farther it gets, mm -hmm. right? Where it gets blurrier near the end, and um, how like if if this. Um, little chair was even more red it would reflect off the ground um and it would turn red as well the mm, ground would turn mm, red it's mm. like just amazing stuff yeah no even for me when he starts to cover up the window but then you still have light leaking to the far side of the room as it would mm -hmm. right like and, and it's the right amount yes it kind of bounces exactly. around. exactly it's the bounce that i find to be impressive shout out jordan and shout out michael uh, All the light I mean, in the room. this seems so fun to be inside of here, uh, like to to program mm -hmm. something in this type of visual interface. Yes. Right? Yeah. Oh, man, you start to really get a sense. I mean, for somebody like me, I don't do any of this, but you start to get a sense about the significance of Epic and Unreal when you see the interface and just working mm -hmm. within it. And you're like, mm -hmm. oh, my God. Yeah building video games it's really impressive it's just really impressive moving things around like as if it were some version of like photoshop but, it, but it's so yeah. much more dynamic i i wonder if interfaces like unreal could become user friendly enough and maybe they already are like look at the bounce lighting here where it's so impressive where yeah. people where the game is actually just designing the game like a the building. engine yeah it like kind of how people play minecraft, minecraft or, how, or how people build in different fortnite yeah. i don't know whatever it is if they can come up with a user interface where mm -hmm. it's actually the fun thing to do is to just meet up and create worlds together yeah fortnite did do well, that. well and, and they just got the investment from <clears throat> sony uh in relation to lego uh well oh that but that's more like Oh yeah, that was the kids metaverse. Yeah. Right. But they got yeah, they got the investment from Sony that a billion another billion dollars. Billion dollars, yeah. Another billion dollars, right? To uh for potential metaverse projects. But when you start to think about virtual worlds and what you can already do uh with Unreal, you start to think, man, there might be a, some pretty serious leg up here. Mm-hmm when you just start to see the features and functions from that perspective of, of what you can already do in it. Right. Like, it, it certainly doesn't look like uh, Facebook's metaverse. No. <laughs> right? It looks a little no. different. I don't know. No. You tell me. I don't know. It looks a little different. Yeah. At the moment.
I guess you need some decent hardware to run it though as well. Yeah. Where Facebook's metaverse, you're like it's gonna be a phone or a cheap headset or whatever. Well, That's not the way to say that it doesn't playing. get there, right? Things things can get there. Games there's a and, place for it. Okay, someone says there's a thing called core that is built on Unreal Engine that allows you to do just that. Just design the game and not worry about building the complex features. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. But I want to also have a social element. Mm -hmm. So me and my friends are hanging out in there building stuff right. together. That's mm -hmm. fun. All of a sudden, it totally flips the uh -huh. thing around. Uh -huh. It doesn't, doesn't seem tedious at all. It seems like the objective. Mm. Uh, Tim Sweeney, CEO of Epic, said they're going into the metaverse and it'll start with Fortnite. It'll be a 10-year process, he says. Shout out, PM.